Hello everyone! This is Kay. This is Alex. And today we are going to see the biggest, or one of the biggest buildings in Gyeongbokgu. What is that, Kay? Well, I'm not telling you because it's a surprise. So follow me! Let's go! This building seems familiar to me. It has so many pillars. The roof is supported by 48 stone pillars. But, uh, and what was this building used for? This building is called Gyeonghaeru. It was used for relaxation and parties okay. and is the largest such pavilion in Korea. It is known for the huge number of chapsang on its roof. Chapsangs are small figures lined up on the ridge of the roof. People believe that they protected the building from evil spirits mm -hmm. and especially from fire spirits. Really? Very interesting. Let me tell you one more thing. Do you know the Korean idiom, 흥청망청? The expression relates to this building. But what does it mean? King Yeonsan threw a party every day in Gyeonghaeru. He spent his days drinking and playing with women and female entertainers called 흥청. He spent state money like water so people could call the act of wasting things 흥청망청. In the end, there were tragic consequences. Tragic consequences? King Yeonsan was dethroned. This building seems familiar to me. It has so many pillars. The roof is supported by 48 stone pillars. And what was this building used for? This building is called Gyeonghaeru. It was used for relaxations and parties and is the largest such pavilion in Korea. It is known for the huge number of chapsang on the roof. Chapsangs are small figures lined up on the ridge of the roof. People believed that they protected the building from evil spirits and especially from fire spirits. Really? Very interesting. 정말 흥미로운 이야기야. Let me tell you one more thing. Do you know the Korean idiom 흥청망청? The expression relates to this building. 한 가지 더 이야기해 줄게. 한국말로 흥청망청이라는 말을 들어본 적 있니? 이 말은 경혜로와 관련 있어. What does it mean? 그게 무슨 말이야? King Yeonsan threw a party every day in Gyeonghaeru. He spent his days drinking and playing with women and female entertainers called Hengcheong. He spent state money like water, so people called the act of wasting things Hengcheongmangcheong. In the end, there were tragic consequences. Yeonsan군은 경혜로에서 매일 잔치를 열었어. 그는 온종일 흥청이라는 기생들과 술을 마시고 놀면서 국가의 돈을 물처럼 썼지. 이처럼 낭비가 심한 것을 흥청망청이라고 해. 결국 비극적 결과를 초래했어. Tragic consequences? 비극적 결과라고? King Yeonsan was dethroned. 연상군은 왕의 자리에서 쫓겨났어. Next time, we'll go to the living quarters of the king and the queen. Oh, I'm excited. See you next time. Bye-bye.